Welcome back. So here I am in my house coat. So it's early in the morning, it's 9am, just done the um, European Open an hour ago with my students. Um, and one of my students this month has made £16,000, so 16 k So you know who you are, well done. He, um, he wants to remain in the shadows, which I fully understand. Some of us like to come out and tell people how well we're doing. Other people don't want to be in the spotlight and they just want to stay in the shadows and make their money. So you've got to respect that. Okay. I mean, obviously I'd love him to come out and tell you guys how he's done it, all that kind of stuff. But um, you've got to respect people's privacy. But it's um, it's fantastic to see. And, you know, this is the level that you can get to if you just stick with it. You know, I've said it so many times now at this stage. It's just about sticking with it. So in my house coat, it's a horrible day today here in Scotland. It's um, it's raining, it's windy, it's a truly awful day. So I thought that um, I thought that I would do my little video in the old house coat. The house coat came out of the wardrobe a few weeks ago. Getting old now, so you know you um, you start to feel the cold when you get older. So anyway. BAC, Bank of America, nice little trade, this one, $395. Now you know that that's my my kind of usual kind of take profit. Um, and it's the usual setup again. And I only trade two setups, I only trade two patterns. And it's good when you, when you have a very solid foundation like this because if the setup is not there, I simply don't take the trade. Okay, so, and that instills a degree of confidence, it instills a degree of discipline and also consistency, okay? Because if the setups are not there, you simply don't take it, okay? So no matter what kind of strategy you're using, you know, you have to be disciplined. And if if the signs are not there, you simply don't take the trade. And sometimes the best trade is no trade, okay? Sometimes that's the best decision to make is to not take a trade. Because if you take a trade for the sake of taking a trade, that's gambling and you're guaranteed to lose your money. You might get lucky a few times, but overall, in the long run, you'll, you'll lose your money. So that's why it's so important to actually have a strategy. You know, you can't just go into the stock market and, and start buying and selling for no particular reason. You know, there has to be a solid foundation, there has to be a strategy, and you must stick to that strategy, no matter what the strategy is. Because as soon as you start to deviate from your strategy, you know, you'll lose all discipline and then, you know, and that's, it, it's a slippery slope really, isn't it? When you start losing discipline, not just in trading, in anything in life, whether it's food, booze, whatever, you know, so you've got to stay disciplined. Easier said than done and we all kind of slip off onto the side every once in a while, but what's important is that you recognize it and um, have that awareness and you get back on, back on track. Okay, so it's human nature that we go off track sometimes on various things. It's human nature, it's going to happen. But what's important is that you recognize it and get back on track as soon as you possibly can. Okay, so it's a nice trade, this one, $395. So as usual, guys, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And you can follow me on Instagram, sambora.00. Feel free to message me as well. And I hope you enjoy this week's video. Right, here we go, BAC. So just waiting for my entry. So the market has just opened. Um, so I just need to wait. Just got to be patient. You can't just jump into these positions. You've got to wait for the right entry. So that's what I'm doing. I'm waiting for the right entry. So it's all over the place here at the moment. It doesn't really know what it's going to do. But sometimes it's just a waiting game. I mean, the worst thing you can do is just jump in. That's gambling. We don't gamble. Right, okay. 2,000 lots going to enter there. Nice. Okay. In the green straight away. 70 odd dollars up. Now obviously it's going to pull back, but I'm confident to hold this position because it's um, it's already been rejected numerous times at the support level. So that is what I use to trade, support and resistance, 
minor rejections, major rejections, so support and resistance, space, momentum, price action. And this is just, at this stage now, well over two and a half years that I've been doing this. Well over two and a half years. Um, at this stage now, it is literally just second nature to me. You know, I don't even need to think too much. I know exactly what I'm doing. So, $116. And hopefully we'll get about $300 in this, three dollars $400. $400 is pretty much my... Um, it's pretty much what I look for. So let me just increase this a little. I'm quite confident with this. So so another 100 lots. So 2.1 BAC Bank of America. It's going to be a bit of a longer trade this one. Sometimes you just need to hold these trades for a lot longer. So I'm going to increase that again. Very confident now with this position. Another 200 lots. So that'll be 2.3k. There we go, 2.3. Quite a pullback there, but I'm still happy to hold this because although it is selling off somewhat, um, I'm not too concerned. I'm too, not too concerned here at all. Now listen, if it started to make some serious new lows, I would just take a hit. But I'm confident to hold this for now. $100 down. Yeah, it's um, it's being rejected there again. There you can see that, so that gives me confidence to hold this because that was quite a big support rejection. So yeah, listen, at this stage it's just second nature to me. I don't need to give it too much thought. It's like driving a car. When you first start to learn how to drive a car, it requires a lot of concentration, and then over time it just becomes second nature to you. You just you just do it without thinking. You know, it's all about um, muscle memory, isn't it? Except it's in your brain. Muscle memory in the brain. So still happy to hold this $100 up almost. Gonna increase it again. So 2.5, so 2,500 lots on this long position on Bank of America. And still happy to hold it for now. Yeah, still happy to hold it. I mean, I, I took it, obviously the, the US Open is at half past two London time. So I took it literally almost a minute into the Open. So it was a qu quite a fast entry for me. But sometimes you literally enter your position a couple of seconds in. It just, it, it depends on what it does. It depends on how it opens. So, so down in the red, but still happy to hold it for now because it's not making these new support. Um, it's not, sorry, it's not breaking down through these new support levels. It, it's being rejected, continues to be rejected. And that's why I'm holding it. So $120 up, $100, oh, 200 So I would expect it to recover somewhat. So there's still there's still more recovery in my opinion, which is why I'm holding. Because it is recovering, and you'll see these kind of rejections at the resistance side as well as the support side. But you know I'm definitely gonna continue to hold this. As I said, I would I would just liquidate and take a loss if it started to make new lows and. If it held new lows. So look at that. $395. Yeah, I'm just going to take that. So there you have it guys. $395. Nice little trade on Bank of America. Lovely little setup. So the winter's coming in. The market is getting busier now. Obviously in summer and August and September it's, it's not so busy. Lacks volatility. And it lacks volatility because the lack of volume. Um, but now we're going into October. So October all the way through to, I would say, April, May next year. You know, it's going to pick up. There's going to be more volume. There's, um, there's going to be more traders in there because I think during the summer, a lot of traders 
hang back and enjoy the summer, which is only natural. And then when the dark nights come in, you know, this is where people want to start um, improving their skills again. So the market will get busier because you'll have more people trading um, and there'll be more volume. Now you might think that retail traders don't add up to a lot and, and can't affect the market, but there's, so, there's literally millions of retail traders all over the world. So of course, even if some of them are trading small lots or small position sizes, it all adds up at the end of the day. So it does make a big difference. So all you retail traders that are, haven't been trading quite as much over the summer because you've been enjoying yourself, these will be coming back in over the winter trading and that'll make a difference to the market as well okay it'll it'll create volatility purely because of volume too all right so so looking forward to um pushing on out to the end of the year and let's see how things go in the market next month i.e october which is tomorrow actually because this yeah tomorrow is the first of october okay so yeah it should be good to see um, the volume return to normal next month. So see you guys again for more videos.